Hello everybody, Trevor here. You've all seen my top 5 Steam Team members video. Now, get ready for my top 6 non-rail characters list. My top 6? Well, I was originally going to make this a top 10, but I decided to shorten it to 6 instead because I don't want the video to be too long. Don't worry guys, I love most of these types of characters. I only wanted to pick six of them just to give out different reasons for liking them. For this list, I'm only going to include characters that only go on roads, in water, or in air. So I'm not going to include Flynn or Skiff because, you know, they go on the rails too. Also, I'm not going to include non-televised characters such as Algae from the Annual series. Lastly, I'm not going to include those that appeared in my top 10 favorite villains video. Trust me, I was going to include the Horde Lorries, George, and Bulgy here, but I decided to drop them because 1. I don't want to repeat myself from that particular video, and 2. I really want to add something entirely new to the table. Now without further ado, let's begin. Number 6, Cleo the Road Engine. I don't know about you guys, but I think Cleo is pretty cute. When I first heard of her, I thought she was based on one of those trackless trains that you see at fun fairs. But it turns out, she's a freelance design. Which means she's not based on any real life counterpart. She was built by Ruth the American Inventor from Season 24. Cleo is known as a road engine because... She's pretty much both an engine and a road vehicle. I thought she's pretty fun too, especially when she was racing on the tracks in front of Gordon and his Express. I also think that Harriet Kershaw's voice suited her perfectly. But the reason she's so low on the list is because so far, she only appeared in two episodes of season 24. One is Cleo the Road Engine, which is her official debut. The other is Cleo's First Snow, where she was first introduced to Winter. I hope she'll return sometime in the future, which I doubt because of this stupid reboot right here. Another reason why she's number 6 is because somehow, she has the capability to drive on her own without the aid of Ruth. How is she able to do that when it was proven that in Thomas Comes to Breakfast, Vehicles can't control themselves because they need a driver. Otherwise, they'll just go out of control and crash, just like in real life. But other than those faults, I think Cleo is very cute, sweet, and quite underrated. And I hope one day she'll be released for Push Along and Play Rail. Number 5. Captain the Lifeboat. Again, another underrated character. Captain was first introduced in Misty Island Rescue to be part of the Sora Search and Rescue team. I like him because he's like the second boat character after Bolstro the Barge, and I thought Keith Wickham was perfect for the role. Heck, I even said in an earlier video that he's the best new character in Misty Island Rescue. Oh, and the reason why I think that is because of his originality and all those things that I've said in that particular video. But the reason he's number 5 is because he doesn't get that much screen time in the show, and he doesn't get that much dialogue either, and that's a shame because I would have liked to see a brand new episode starring him. For example, imagine him becoming Bolstrode's new friend of some sort. Bolstrode wouldn't like him at first, but after being saved from a storm by him, they both become good friends. But that's just my idea of a new episode, so it may not happen. But hey. At least he appears more often than Bolstrode, who only appeared in Season 4 of the show as well as various merchandising. Number 4. Cranky the Crane When it comes to stationary cranes, my most favorite of them all is Cranky himself. I like the fact that he's one of the only few Season 5 characters to appear more frequently in the show, along with Aerie and Bert. Even though Cranky can be cranky, he does have a heart of gold. For instance, in Kevin's Cranky Friend, because of Cranky's messy antics, Kevin was brought to Brenham Docks by Sir Topham Hatt to help him out, but, Cr but Cranky thought he didn't need any help, so he took the blame on him. But in the end, Cranky saves Kevin from sinking into the ocean, and the two became good friends, 
and work together to clean up the mess at the docks. I also loved Cranky in, in his official debut, Cranky Bugs, where he used to bully the little engines, but soon learned his lesson after he fell down and got saved by Thomas and Percy. Fun fact, according to an interview with Robert Gold Galliers, sorry if I mispronounced your name, Cranky is based on various cranes from the 1920s to the 1950s. So, does that mean that Cranky's based on no particular type of crane in real life? Please correct me if I'm wrong on that. Number 3. Harold the Helicopter Unlike boat characters, there are plenty of air vehicles in the show, but my most favorite of which has to be Harold the Helicopter. Not only that he's a classic character, but also very important to the franchise. He's one of the biggest heroes on the whole island of Sodor, as well as being part of the Sora's search and rescue team in the CGI series. An example of his heroism was in The Magic Lamp, where he helped Peter Sam find his way to the right line during a foggy night. Another instance was in the beginning of The Thomas Way, where he picked up rock climbers who were stranded on a mountain. I also thought all of his voices suited him very well, including the late Michelangelo's himself. Here's another fun fact. Harold is based on the Sikorsky S-55 built in the UK as a Westland whirlwind. So, it doesn't really matter whether he speaks with a British accent or an American accent in my opinion. Even though Harold can be a bit cocky at times, but like the engines on the Northwestern Railway, he can also be really useful. Number 2. Birdie the Bus Birdie is a red bus who can be quite cheeky and boastful at times, especially when it comes to racing Thomas frequently. He was one of the first two road vehicles to be introduced in the classic TV series along with Terrence the Tractor. That's one thing I like about Birdie. The second thing is that, like Thomas, he is also pretty fast and can be very friendly too, unlike a certain character. Another thing I like about Birdie is that, like Harold, he is also very important to the franchise because he helps carry passengers in case of the engines break down or get stuck in snow. It's a pretty good thing that he's one of those non-rail characters to appear more frequently into the show, unlike his cousin Bulgy, who didn't return to the show until seasons 21, 23, and 24. Speaking of that, I even like the interaction between him and Bulgy in the Free the Roads episode, which is actually one of my favorites in the Big World Big Adventures era. It just shows that Birdie and Bulgy can be good friends sometimes, despite their differences. Not to mention that the fantasy sequence in that episode was hilarious. Here's hoping that they'll also introduce Algy into the show because he's also Birdie's friend and deserves more recognition than what he's got. Before I get to my number one pick, here are a lot of honorable mentions. Bulgy, George, and the Lorries. I've already explained why I didn't include them here, so let's just move on. Terrence. He got beat up by number one, which I'll get to in a little bit. Butch. He would have been number five. Kevin. He's... okay. Moving on. Various pack members. I couldn't decide which one of these is my favorite. I kind of like them all. Colin. For starters, he only appeared in one episode of the show, and he already got beaten out by Cranky the Crane. And the number one best non-rail vehicle of all time is Trevor the Traction Engine. I'm not joking, and I'm not being narcissistic here either. I actually consider Trevor to be my number one favorite non-rail character in the franchise. The biggest reason why he's number one on my list is because he has the same exact name as I have. Also, because of him, not only that I'm a huge fan of steam trains in general, but I also love steam-powered vehicles that only go on the roads, such as traction engines. Heck, I've seen one in person at a fair in Minnesota. Even though I didn't ride one, but at least I got to see one up close in person. In addition, like me, Trevor is also very kind, friendly, and helpful. For example, and I quote Edward in Save From Scrap, he saws wood and gives children rides. 
He was about to be scrapped, but thankfully he was saved and purchased by the Vicar of Wellsworth, and is now the current resident of the Vicarage Orchard, and is often borrowed by his driver, Jem Cole, to do odd jobs and appear at various events such as the Vicar's Party in Season 3. Another thing about Trevor is that he gets bored easily when he doesn't have enough work to do. And sometimes, I get bored easily when I don't have much to do either. One interesting fact about Trevor's basis is that he was based on Fiery Elias, which was once owned by the Reverend Teddy Boston. His widow, Audrey, is now the current owner of that particular engine. Oh, and did you also know that Teddy owned the basis for George the Steamroller as well? How interesting is that? And those are all the reasons why Trevor is my number one favorite non-rail character of all time. Now tell me in the comments section of which of these characters is your favorite. It doesn't have to be a top 6, it can be a top 10, a top 5, or maybe a top 15. Join me in next time where I'll be discussing my top 5 favorite narrow gauge engines. This is Trevor Davis, signing off.